Hi, it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and I'm back continuing with that 16 pound jewelry jar. Um, this is more jewelry than I can ever imagine in one place. Um, I think I was expecting the jar to be a couple pounds at least, but the jewelry just keeps going on and on. So here's a new handful to explore. This looks odd. Um, let me pick up these bits of beads and put them in a container. And uh, let's look at the jewelry. First off, I've been this jar has been giving us a number of lovely bib necklaces. That's not part of the necklace. And here's another one. Lovely black um, plastic for sure. It's all there good shape it's hard to it's a handful I mean once you had it on you it, it, uh, it would be nice and flat and would be pretty probably would be pretty comfortable because it's not too heavy lobster claw clasp and the chain looks like it's in good condition and there's a little tag we turn it the right way around and we clean it it says Bobble bar, B-A-U-B-L-E-B-A-R. Well, that's a bobble bar for sure, right there. Gorgeous, gorgeous little necklace for, oh, perfect for an evening out. Not the kind of thing you'd wear to the office all day long. I think by the end of the day, you're, you'd be tired of it. So, but beautiful bib necklace. And here's something pink and shiny. Oh, ooh, this is so cool, and it's sweet. It's missing a, a, it's missing a rhinestone there, but I bet I have one. Oh, it's missing a rhinestone down there too. Is there missing a rhinestone down there? Three. I have to bring it up. Can it? Can you? Oh, it won't focus because. Too much in the background okay so put my hand there well they're like little shamrock shapes these little parts with the pink one two two missing it's um on a is that a stretchy no it's not a stretchy cord but it's uh, on a cord with a tassel and it's got a slider so uh, is it a slider? Yeah, so that you can make it tighter or narrower. Um, I wonder if this is a piece of dance jewelry because it would just have such great movement. Oh, there we go. Such great movement in uh, a Bollywood dance. Yeah. Well, that's pretty. Repairable. That, that would be fun to repair. Here's something else that looks like it might be of the same sort of style. I hate to class things like that when I don't know it. This one's a little tangled. This has got a boo-boo on the end here. Somebody's taped the end shut. It had, I guess the price tag was on there, but nobody got it off completely. Oh, I got a bracelet like this not very long ago. That's this color and the little beads put in in the little mirrors and stuff. I'll have to find it and put the two together. So it's seed beads uh, uh, with the metal, uh, very lightweight uh, metal disc. And then this is probably coming apart. This could use a hook on there or something rather than just going together like that. So... There it is in all its glory, and it's 18 inches, very nice uh, sort of ethnic style, just a little, a little worse for wear in terms of the, the cloth or the stringing or whatever, but something could probably be done about that, or, excuse me. This could be repurposed in a wind chime. That would be nice. Make a nice sound. Ooh. 
This isn't a bib necklace, but this is cool. Look at all these glass beads. And they look bl slightly bluer um, on the camera than they actually are. So um, they're really um, more of a jade green. But look at how they're put together with the chain. That is really interesting. And it makes, it's a substantial necklace. No maker's mark, excellent condition. This probably doesn't weigh a pound, but oh, I bet it does. I bet it, it's heavy, but it's gorgeous. Very interesting. Okay, lots of great wearable stuff here. Now this is, I guess this is to put your name tag on. What do you, uh, a lanyard? It's pl uh, rubber or plastic. It's plastic cup chain. I've never seen plastic cup chain. Um, and it's got nice quality shiny rhinestones in it. Like they're they're not insubstantial. They're I don't know if they're plastic or if they're glass. But um, well, this is cool. Never seen anything quite like it. A really nice lanyard. I mean, maybe because of the rhinestones, they thought it was jewelry, but hey, well, uh, that would uh, that'd make a great mask chain because you could wash it. Here's something sweet. Oh, this looks like the, it's come apart at some point and someone's sort of tied it back together. Um... It's very pretty. Here, let's put it on my hand like that. Very pretty little uh, rhinestone clasp. Well, I've got, it's got something maybe written on it, maybe not. It's on a stretchy cord, but just has seen better days. And it could partially be because some of these are like pointy thingies. They're not really sharp. I think some of the pieces feel cold like glass and some of them don't. So a nice combination of beads, probably better repurposed. Yeah, this one feels like glass, this one feels like glass. That one. This is heavy, let me just see if that had writing on it. Oh, it's actually a, an enhancer that comes open. Ooh, look at that, there we go, that's um, that's a bonus. I don't see any name or anything on it, but uh, I'll put it back on so don't lose it. That's very repurposable. Quite pretty. All the rhinestones are there, and these beads can all be reused. Great! Um, ooh, got something in here that, oh, it's a chicken. Okay. This is jewelry because it's oh, um, it's got a pin on the back of it. <laughs> it's a foam piece of foam. Uh, it's like one of those foamy shapes. I'm gonna. I was getting pricked by that. So there's the the back. It's the white foamy, and on the front, it's got this lovely sort of tartan material and. It's all it's all one color, so it's just applied to the foam. It's a chicken pin. Cluck cluck. Okay, what do you do with one of these? <laughs> I mean, I like chickens. I have a collection of uh, two or three in my kitchen, but a chicken pin. All right, here's the lobster claw clasp on the extender. They'll shorten it up so that we can measure. So here we have large oval rings, larger oval rings, some rhinestone encrusted 
oval rings, smaller oval rings. Okay, so it's a, generally a relatively simple necklace, except for the bit of bling in the middle there. And it is 12, oh, let's go the other direction. Let's go from the bottom. 12 plus 24, 28 inches plus a two inch extender. Very wearable, silver tone, lightweight, fun necklace. Okay, what else have we got here? A few more beads falling out. And, oh, another bib necklace. Oh, somebody made this. This is a lot of work. Uh, sort of a netted top design. Little... Uh, Bobbles for the closure. It's 12 inches and then loops, two sets, uh, a double loop, so you could have it shorter or longer, I guess. There's even the plastic from the price tag at one point. So 12, it's a good um, short choker. It's only 12 inches. Just gonna see if we could figure out yeah that's okay and then it's very long just over the beads let's see if we can make a space here for it it's hard to lay it out flat sort of comb it down a little bit it's very attractive now, there's a string coming out of it. I don't know if that means that one of the strands of beads, yeah, probably, one or more, yeah, oh, uh-oh, I shouldn't have pulled on it. Anyway, here's a, a strand of beads that's coming undone. That could be why these are tangled up at the bottom. A lot of them are meant to be joined at the bottom in pairs. So the long, another 12 inches of dangles. So I'll try to show it to you by just doing that. And there's my noisy fridge again. So time to stop. So I took a little bit of time um, off camera to figure out how many broken strands there are. There's really not that many broken strands, uh, maybe four in all of this, um, but I certainly don't have the beads to repair it, and I'm not sure with a 12-inch neck um, who would wear it. I certainly don't want to appropriate um, First Nations regalia. Um, to someone who shouldn't wear it so um, I'll have to do a little research into it in the meantime I'm gonna pack it nicely in a container in a bag so that I don't lose any more beads and so that uh, the strings don't get tangled with any other jewelry and we're almost at the end of the jar here's a necklace um, that I think is gorgeous actually it's the discs are whoa don't want them to break I had I've ha I had a a Liz Claiborne necklace where these were really these broke off these, this part here broke off, so it's like no, no way to repair it. I don't know what name this is. It's just that when these a certain goes, when these are turned a certain way, they don't sit right. But look at that. It's beautiful. No maker's name attached to it. Nothing on the other side. This brushed gold with the uh, sort of oxidized silver around it. 
very nice very wearable necklace and uh, a decent length a good extender let's check with the old ruler here so three inch extender pull it down to there 16 inches length so um another very wearable necklace lots of great necklaces in here um Here's a couple stretchy bracelets. This is little plastic metal beads, or not, metal looking. <laughs> little plastic metal beads, no, no. Little plastic look like metal beads, okay? And these are plastic look like stones. So those will go with my kids jewelry stuff. Here are some earrings. These are pretty substantial. I don't know if they have all the rhinestones. They're kind of grimy. Oh. Is that a missing rhinestone or just a gap in the way they're made? I can see that they are their channel set um, cup set rhinestones just uh, like the chain just soldered together. So um some nice bungy earrings this one earring doesn't have a match it looks like stones but it's not it's some kind of chain wrapped on the on the hoop so not sure what i'll do with those there was another pair of earrings and she was able to match up these are quite bright Nice brushed gold tone at the top there. And then these beautiful rhinestone set um, feather or needle shapes. I'm not sure what you might call them. Um, looks like all the rhinestones are there. Very pretty. Nice to have a pair. Here's a substantial chain. Oh, there is a clasp. Good, because I'm going, how is it? This almost looks like a dog collar. It's so heavy. Um, so 12 plus 3. 15 inches. That's... Uh, a choker, a very substantial, heavy choker. Enough said. Here's something a little different. This is teeny tiny. It's got a uh, fold over clasp. It has some mm, pretty yellow looking, but prong set rhinestones. So I'll have to see if I can take those out and see if they clean up. To see if the whole thing cleans up. Um, would you believe 13 inches? It's either, uh, well, I am assuming it's vintage because of the prong set rhinestones, uh, the teardrop shapes. You don't usually see that. But just the 13 inches, like there's no way it's going to fit most modern women's decks. Oh, this isn't an earring. I thought it might be an earring because it has fringe. Let me just figure out how it works. Okay, so this is a pin with really quite a huge, okay. Um... No name on the back, but look at this. It's a an angel pin made out of cup chain with one great big mark, uh, one great big rhinestone in the center there. I wonder what this little metal piece is supposed to do. It kind of seems to be extra. I have a bunch of angel pins, so I'll have to add that to my collection. This is uh, like a cloud ring 
but it's uh, a lapel pin it just needs it the backing I don't see any manufacturer's name but it's in good shape here's uh, a vintage butterfly pin you can see that it's hand painted and a little bit I don't know how much of the paint has come off but Definitely a bit here on over here to match the other side. I'm not sure if it went right up the tips of the wings. Some very pretty pink rhinestones in the center there. And a nice uh, little safety clasp on the back. Pretty little butterfly. I have a few butterfly pins as well. Here's a plastic anchor pin. No markings. Nothing special. Kind of dirty. This is a, it looks like a shell flower pin. Oh, it could be a pendant as well as a pin. And it's marked. Okay. There, you can see it. Mexico. I doubt it's silver. It's probably alpaca. Uh, you know, nickel silver, whatever. But I'll test it. So it's nice, both a pendant and a pin. It's a very pretty design. Very pretty. And uh, one more pin. A trillium flower. Let me just get the pin somewhere yeah. where it won't injure me. Why does it not want to go in? Oh, okay, so it's bent out of shape. Alrighty, so there's the trillium. That's the uh, provincial flower for where I live, for Ontario, in Canada. That's fixable. Um, there's this little uh, pendant full of, I got some dirt from this jewelry in my fingernail, excuse me. Um, this little pendant pot metal with rhinestones just missing Something in the center, it's better for kids to play with than I think anything else. Um, a little bracelet dangle. That feels like glass. I don't think that says 925. I don't, it, it looks like it could be, but. Frankly, given the, the level of quality of the pendant items, I'll have to test it, though. I really can't. See any letter numbering in there. So, interesting. Um... This is kind of cute. Look at this. Two hearts. It says R-D, A-R-D-E-E, -E, and then Pat. Pat's my name. That's my name on there. Oh, look at this cool clasp. You need... That must... This looks kind of like... I don't know. Early aluminum jewelry, maybe? Wonder what time frame. I like the blo the box chain. I like the whole thing. Oh! Here's a necklace. That is... Broken. Okay, so lobster claw clasp, very pretty little chain with bows, um, sort of bows, and then rec flat and not so, well. how do I, let me put it on the side of my hand, flat and chain links. Flattened links, not flattened links. 
Well, that's pretty. It's a nice color. Very good color. Looks new. Well, could be, I suppose, even with a spring ring clasp. But this needs to connect to there. There's a job. Okay, we're getting to the end. Um, here is, oh, another necklace. Let's, it's got, some, it's lightweight. Let's see, here's the clasp. And it's two strands, just little plastic beads. Um, nice little, I like these little designs on the side, these little bits of filigree, they're quite pretty. So there's a very wearable little necklace. No markings that I can see. And an earring. Oh, one earring. Oh, what a shame, because this is so beautiful. It would be wonderful to have the other earring. Suppose you could take these and take the two dangles and turn them in and to make an earring, make two earrings to go with this. Oh, interesting idea. Okay, well, a sort of a set. One earring and a necklace that needs um, the ring replaced. And then one more single earring. This is nice enamel, a really pretty color, but only one. And all these beads. I weighed the jar before we started, and it was, or my husband weighed it for me. Um, it was 16 pounds. I weighed the empty jar, 5 pounds, 13 ounces. So, just slightly over 10 pounds of jewelry. And what a fun time it has been. Hope you've enjoyed this huge 16 pound jewelry jar. Bye for now. Have a great day. It's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes. See you soon.